Hello guys and welcome to today's project of making passion fruit curd. The ingredient list is in the description. Just look at this luscious spread made with such an exotic fruit. A blast of tropical flavor with a creamy body. Spread it on your bread, crumpet, pancake or fill your cupcakes. You can enjoy it however you like. Let's begin. You will need to get yourself some fresh passion fruit. I managed to get some. If you have bought too much, you can always freeze the passion fruit juice and pulp for next time or another project. Let's have a look inside. Some passion fruits aren't filled to the maximum, but these ones that I bought have so much pulp. Let's just try this. Absolutely delicious. I am awake now. We're going to extract the juice the old-fashioned way with a sieve. Scrape out everything. Use a whisk to break apart the pulp from the seeds. Then after that, use a spatula to move the seeds around, extracting as much of the juice as possible. Or, if you are not able to get fresh passion fruit juice, you can always buy passion fruit puree. I bought a packet as well. There is nothing wrong with using this. After all, it is award-winning, made from real fruits, no artificial color or preservatives, and it is ideal for desserts. The only major difference is the added 10% of sugar overall. This is just to regulate the flavor. Whereas as using fresh passion fruit, it has its own natural sugar. Let's try this too. This is just a massive punch of flavor. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. The left one is from the fresh fruit. It has a lighter color and looser body compared to the other one on the right, which is from the packet. This is deeper in color. Whichever you do decide to go for, you will need 125 grams of passion fruit juice. Place the juice in a medium-sized pot, then pour in 125 grams of caster sugar. Give that a whisk to distribute everything. Next, measure out 110 grams of whole eggs, or about two large eggs. Then, 100 grams of egg yolks. Pour the whole eggs and egg yolks into the pot. Mix well. Bring over to the stove and turn on the heat to medium to low. We want it to cook gently. We don't want it to boil. Remember to stir constantly to avoid the bottom from burning. It will take some time, but it is worth it in the end. We want it to reach at least 82 degrees Celsius. Once it has reached around 82 degrees Celsius, take it off from the heat. Pour it into a bowl. Just look at that. A clean bottom because I was constantly stirring. Next, measure out 150 grams of cold cubed butter. Make sure the butter is cut in uniform cubes. Just to measure the temperature, we are now at about 54 degrees Celsius. Toss a couple of cubes in and start whisking. When you mix cold butter in now, what it does, it helps to cool down a mixture and it will emulsify as it cools. Doing it this way, makes the curd smooth and glossy later on. Once the few butter cubes that you have tossed in from earlier have melted, throw some more in. Continue the process until you have finished all of the butter. 
you can do the spoon test by drawing a line. Such a perfect consistency. It will thicken up in the fridge. Next, pour it into a container. Wrap it with cling film touching the surface. This prevents a skin from forming in the fridge. Leave it in the fridge overnight. While waiting for it to set in the fridge overnight, do check out my other curd recipes on my channel. The next day. Just look at that. Such a nice spreadable consistency. It looks so unbelievably creamy. In order for me to enjoy this, I will go ahead and toast a crumpet. I want to really enjoy this curd. This size is just unacceptable. I want it bigger. That's more like it. Spread a generous amount, and I mean generous amount, onto whatever you like, and in this case, a large crumpet. Oh my, such a delicious breakfast. I'm glad I woke up today. I will let you in on a little secret. I didn't just have one, I had three. Naughty of me, but it's my kitchen, I can do whatever I want. Well, there you have it, passion fruit curd. Go and make this, in your kitchen of course, not mine. I promise you that you will enjoy this. Thank you for watching. As usual, it was a pleasure having you with us on this journey today. If you enjoyed what you watched, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.